Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to my longest video probably I've ever recorded and edited, I think. Um, so yeah, as you can see by the title, I'm doing my whole final collection in one video. With Aborted, the Necrotic Manifesto. I believe this was actually my first record of Aborted. Uh, and this came on a black vinyl. So, um, yeah, awarded one of my favorite, um, yeah, I can say death metal bands right now. Um, they're not really grindy anymore. They got some grind influences, but not like full blown grind anymore. Uh, then we have Slaughter and Apparatus and Methodical Torture, Overture, sorry. Overture, gatefold as well. Um, not one of my favorite records from them, but yeah. Um, comes on a beautiful brown, reddish vinyl. Uh, looks more red to me, but on camera it looks more brown. Um, and actually my favorite is their first one, where they made some really grind material. Uh, Purity of Perversion. Um, I can't believe that I got this for quite cheap. Uh, these boxes are going for quite a penny online. And this dude, he said like, yeah, there's a um, dent right here. I don't know if you can see it there. So he sold it me for like incredibly cheap. Um, just on a black final, uh, this is for me, Aborted's best material. Uh, absolutely amazing, amazing grindcore. Um, has some old school, uh, well not old school death metal uh, vibes going on, but I absolutely adore this one. And yeah, it's, it's just something else. For me, one of the best old school death, metals, uh, death metal albums ever made authorize the source of Dominion. Goddamn. Uh, this was actually the first final that I ever bought uh, that needed to be shipped overseas. Um, I got this from America, I think. And it is still in really good condition. Um, it's on black vinyl, but I really like the old school type of um, labels in our uh, the labels they got on the vinyl and it's a double lp and i like this logo right there and same old school stuff uh right there um they only released one album and they i think they brought out a split as well um with some other type of really cool stuff um but yeah, Authorized Source of Dominion uh, has one of the best intros ever recorded for an old school death metal album. So uh, if you don't know it, go and check this out. There we got Eternus, or Eternum. I always forget the name, but really um, important albums for me. Uh, you probably think like, yeah, you don't remember the name, but yeah, it's an important album for you. Yeah, it is. Um, I. Um, I got it on CD and it has been a while since I spun it, but um, one day I was actually spinning this one and I tried to uh, find the vinyl. And I found it on Discogs for a sick, sick, sick good uh, price. And I messaged the guy like, is there the... Um, uh, the poster with this he said yeah of course and were actually the band themselves selling this record so you want to get it signed like oh hell yeah so I got it signed and the poster in there as well and the poster is just a band photo of the dudes but either way it looks really old school some really really good I believe doom doom metal stuff but the thing I was mostly surprised of was the color, which is actually in freaking sane. So awesome. And 
it's still one of my um, most treasured vinyl in my collection even though it's really cheap and the band is not perfect they're not like high tier stuff uh, however they they made something that uh, clicked with me and um, yeah so this is something else uh, this is actually um, my very very first final that I've ever bought and the loser that I was I pinned it on my wall um, I didn't have a record player back then however um, soon after this I uh, got a vinyl player and that broke down really really quick because I didn't know how to uh, comprehend with that um, and I didn't know what to look for um, in vinyl and stuff uh, but I remember that ACDC was a good band <laughs> uh, when I bought my first vinyl, this one and yeah I listened to this quite some times and it's actually in horrible shape like it's in shitty shape so uh, you could play it but nah <laughs> then we got um, Elter with uh, 3 uh, yeah I got this uh, a while ago uh, in a um, in a lot I bought and I still haven't listened to it yet uh, can't find any time for it um, now that I moved my vinyl play up here um, I can have uh, some good time listening to it. Uh, I have listened to it once or twice before I bought it. Not the whole album, but like a part of it. And it sounds really cool. And the last one from the A collection is Ancient Wisdom with Sacrificial. I got this from uh, Lonnie over at uh, Classic Lonnie Metal. Um, and he was very kind to send this to me and this is on a really cool red-ish translucent vinyl. I spun it once or twice, um, maybe more, but it's not always on the spinner. So um, yeah, extremely happy with this one. Um, as, you see, as you can see, he uh, survived a couple of um, yeah dents and stuff. Uh, however, it's still a good record. All right, then we move on to the B section. Uh, starting over with two uh, soundtracks. This is the soundtrack from Braveheart, one of my cherished, most cherished of all cherished uh, soundtracks. Uh, amazing um, music by James Horner. Uh, the inner sheets are pretty awesome as well. And there we go. Uh, it's on black, so won't show you that. And this one has like credits and stuff and the blue on the back side. Next one is a uh, band of brothers. Really good music for uh, such a tiny series. However, HBO makes like um, amazing, uh, worthy, um, how do you say it? Um, worthy series that deserve like an amazing soundtrack. Uh, you, will, you will see uh, one other HBO series uh, soundtrack that I got. Uh, so yeah. this one comes on an army translucent green color. I know you can't see it, but um, it's really, really amazing music by Michael Kamen. And um, yeah, go and check this out. Next one is Brutus with Nest. Um, Post punk band um, from Belgium. Uh, they've been really making a name for themselves right now and this is a really 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 good album and they've done one previous before this um, and that one was also very cool uh, came with a poster for the artwork and on the back side has like touring shit uh, came with a really cool color as well and a um, download code that I want to show you guys because it's mine and this came on a very um, very beautiful translucent green vinyl all right the next one that I got to show you guys is um, the one uh, that I showed in my last vinyl update be Eilish uh, with when we 
all fall asleep, where do we go? Um, yeah, comes in a gatefold with all the lyrics. Actually, a very, um, how do you say, boring um, uh, layout, like black and few label logos down there. And it comes on uh, like a, I don't know, um, orangey-ish type of color. Um, nothing very special, uh, good music. So yeah, Burzum with, uh, yeah, Burzum slash Aske. Um, yeah, this is actually my second Burzum record I ever got. Uh, no need to explain this uh, shit, so um, uh, comes on black vinyl. I think most of you guys know this. Uh, back on black reissue. Um, I know there's a lot of shit on back on black, but quality is quite decent. However, talking about quality with a person record. This Lisa Taros, I think. I totally butchered that, but. Uh, this is actually my favorite person record. Um, I really like the whole atmosphere this album has. Um, this comes also on a black vinyl, so I won't show you that. All right, going on with the seas. We go to the Ukraine for Chernobyl. Uh, the HBO miniseries I was talking about a few seconds ago. Uh, made by the uh, beautiful Hildur Gunad. Dottir, Dottir, she is from Iceland, I think, so, um, amazing series, like, one of the best miniseries I've ever seen, uh, just comes on black, but the logos are pretty standard, however, quite cool, amazingly haunting, scary, uh, sound, um, that she has produced, um, amazing, amazing stuff. Um, co also comes with an inner sheet. Sorry, um, from a scene in the movie, movie uh, series. So um, yeah, go check it out. Staying in Chernobyl, we are going with Cytotoxin with the very first vinyl release, Gamageddon. Uh, not my favorite record by uh, Cytotoxin, but it's still freaking awesome. Um, yeah, so really cool. Uh, artwork is amazing as usual. Um, comes with an inner sheet. Um, yeah. And there you go as well. Uh, comes on like a dirty, dirty green ish style cover. And I really, really like the logos, especially this one. Really cool that they uh, done the Ferris wheel with the um, radioactive shit in there as well. So if you don't know Cytotoxin, go check it out. Uh, then we go to, uh, I believe France for some, for a compilation of the raw black metal band Cavern of Cavern um, with oh, Frontières du Monde, uh, raw black metal from France as far as I can remember. Um, came with a lot of cool stuff on black vinyl as well. And some, yeah, Northern Heritage stuff. And it came with a really cool booklet as well. Then we calm things down with uh, some folk music, the Civil Wars, or country music, how you want to say it. Um, gate for the cover and the backside cover. And I really like the artwork from this. I believe it's from a volcano or something. And uh, yeah, it's it's such good uh, country folk music. Really dark stuff. Uh, so if you like that dark folk music, go and check this out. Then we go to the most um, amazing modern pieces of atmospheric black metal since Summoning. Caravan Brood with Echoes of Battle. Um, this is not the first press, this is obviously the second press. But the first press is like going for a bazillion euros right now on Discogs. And I won't be even comfortable paying that amount. Um, amazing artwork. And I got the white repress version. 
Um, came with a lot of goodies as well. Uh, posters everywhere. Um, uh, since it's my video, I'm gonna show it. Here we go, the first one. And this one as well. Really cool. It still has like a weak spot in, um, in my heart every time I listen to it. And I won't be parting with this record very soon. Then we go to uh, Classic Rock, the London Symphony Orchestra. It's quite an awesome record. Um, some really um, famous songs done by just orchestra. Um, yeah, it's, it's really funny and I've spun it like a couple of times. Then we go to um, City to City um, with, uh, pfft, I don't know what, yeah. I believe my dad always called it City to City. Uh, I still had it from his collection. Um, that one uh, got destroyed and I got this one. And I don't even know if he knows that I still own this. Uh, then we go to Coldplay with a rush of blood to the head. I grew up with this music. It's, in my opinion, really, really good music, especially their earlier stuff. Um, just on Black Venom. So I want to show you that. We still have a Coldplay and we go to Parachutes. Um, this one has probably got the um, most soft spot for me. Uh, there we go with the inlays and it's on black vinyl. So I won't be showing you. And the last one from Coldplay, uh, Viva La Vida or Death to All His Friends. Uh, this one was really there after the um, X and Y album, um, they brought this one out, I think, and this one was a banger. This, not my favorite, but really good. From Coldplay, Coldplay, we go to old school death metal in the form of Carnation, Chapel of Abhorrence. Like, goddamn, this is some really nasty old school death metal. I found this in a local store here um, on sale, and I had the um, luck that I got the red vinyl. It's it's red, not orange, but it's red. Really, really good old school death metal um, from I believe Belgium. I want to say. Then we go to uh, one of my favorite, um, yeah, what is it? Depressive black metal, not suicidal, but depressive black metal. Um, so the first one I got to show is the stars are dead now. Uh, by Cold World, a German one-man project. Uh, really awesome stuff. Not their, not his best stuff, uh, but still really good music. Um, yeah, just on black vinyl. This has been repressed like a couple of times, and this is one of of the represses. So uh, then we go to actually my favorite record of him. And one of my um, most cherished records as well, Melancholy 2. Really, really good stuff. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's like foggy as hell. And um, this has been repressed as far as I think. Um, not much going on here, literally. Labels as well, very um, minimalistic artwork, but that's how I like uh, my black metal uh, records. Um, then after that, he um, went a little bit the other way um, with his style of black metal, and he released Autumn. And I was really highly anticipated for this one. Uh, sadly, uh, it's not my cup of tea. Um, but I won't part from it since it's one of my favorite black metal bands. Um, came on a black vinyl, but I really like the labels. Um, also came with a poster or a huge booklet, sorry. Bit of a runny nose, with a lot of awesome pictures inside of there. So, yeah. Really, really awesomely beautifully done release um, sadly the music didn't quite um, make the same effect on me like the previous two like the stars of dead now melancholy 2 had 
We go further with some Irish folk in the form of the Dubliners. Uh, this is one of those uh, three LP sets. Uh, opens up like that. All on black vinyl. Uh, I guess, yeah, come on. You gotta know the Dubliners. Dubliners with the Patriot game. This is like in a really shit condition. I once bought it at a flea market. Um, Frankie Road Dublin is like one of the most classics ever made. So yeah, Dubliners. Dead to a Dying World, Life at Rogueburn. I showed you guys this like a while ago. Really awesome stuff. Um, comes on Black Final. I'll show you that. Then we got a soundtrack of the Deer Hunter. Um, and Robert De Niro plays in it as well. Um, really really cool stuff uh, actually a really short soundtrack as well um, like the longest song on here is four minutes so yeah amazing movie uh, soundtrack is a little bit odd but yeah check it out now we got some rap actually uh, some old school death row records uh, rap um, this is uh, Daz Dillinger Featuring a Trey D with way too major. Uh, I had this for a long ass time. I don't know what the last time I, uh, what the last time was when I was spinning this one or even listening to this one, but it's real, uh, really cool to have eventually. So yeah. Then we go to the Netherlands for some raw black metal or atmospheric black metal. How you want to say it? Dodenkrocht with Misery Chords. Long dragging um, uh, music, long dragging uh, atmospheric black metal. Just call it like that. Um, just some black vinyl, comes with an inner sheet. Um, I've been a fan of this band for a long time. Uh, the sheet is like exactly the same as the outer sheet, or uh, not exactly the same, almost the same. Yeah, so. Really awesome on black vinyl, so I won't show you that. Now we got a, another soundtrack from the movie uh, The Deep. Um, to be honest, I only bought this of the awesome artwork. So um, maybe if I get a, um, even if I get my own place, I will probably frame this something and put it in my um, hobby room or something. Then we slow things down and make it a little bit more dark. Emma Ruth Rundle with uh, Marked for Death. Really awesome, awesome voice. She has like really soothing voice. Um, she really calms me down to say the least. Some lyrics and inner sheet on black vinyl. So I want to show you that. Then we go to the probably the most destroyed record I have. Uh, this is I think the first copy of my parents um, Fleetwood Mac with rumors and as you can see it's absolutely destroyed. I guess everybody knows this. Uh, have, I haven't spun this. I won't even try to spin this. Um, this is probably gonna stay in my collection forever because this is my parents um, copy so yeah, awesome. Brutal Death Metal. There we go. Extermination Dismemberment with Butcher Basement. And I believe this is their only vinyl release that they have done. Um, this is through Morbid Generation Records. Uh, and this is on a really cool color. On a translucent-ish green splatter shit vinyl or something. I don't know how they make up the names today. Also comes with a um, inner sheet, um, who the guys are, and a thank you sheet as well. So if you don't know um, extermination, this memorand, they're really a um, purely slam based uh, death metal band. So go and check out extermination, this memorand if you like that brutal, brutal breakdown stuff. From brutal breakdowns, we go to. Edit Piaf, um, this Dutch release, uh, 20 greatest hits or something. Um, I put this on in the store all the time and people are actually enjoying it and they don't expect it in a game store. Um, but however, yeah, really cool to have something from Edit Piaf. 
right here. Then we go to some local heroes in the form of Ecocide. Uh, this is uh, a splatter vinyl uh, limited to 100 copies and I don't know if you can see that but I got number two. Um, I believe number one is in possession of the band themselves or had been in the possession of the band themselves. Um, the Splatter Vinyl is really awesome. Uh, I've been a long supporter of this band to say the least. I even worked with two of the uh, guys themselves. Um, comes with an inner sheet as well. Really awesome Cthulhu-ish type stuff. Uh, furthermore, another same one. I don't know why, but okay. Fine. <laughs> same cover. All right. Uh, this is just on the black, uh, black version of this. Next record, Electric Wizard with uh, Wizard Bloody Wizard. Uh, yeah, really awesome record. Got it a while ago, and this came on a really, really awesome uh, edition. The inner sheet. And this one as well. And it came on a beautiful, I want to say, yeah, uh, white ish vinyl. Also came with a really intriguing poster, uh, which I'll show. And it's a big poster of a beautiful lady and a motorbike. So, if you don't know Electric Wizard, go and check them out. Um, they're really awesome band. Foo Fighters with Echoes, Silence, Patience and Grace. Um, yeah, who doesn't know this record? Uh, purely cool as fuck, hard rock. Um, vinyl on black. Uh, inner sheets are quite interesting as well some studio shots as well um yeah they got a weak spot for me um everybody says like yeah how the hell do you like black metal and this kind of stuff and like yeah sometimes people do listen to everything so and as you can see by this um by this final collection i've got a lot of weird stuff the next one Full Metal Jacket soundtrack by Stanley Kubrick. Uh, yeah, who doesn't know this movie? It's a legendary movie. Uh, to be honest, I also got this just for the artwork. Uh, it was pretty cheap. And yeah, artwork's pretty awesome, right? Soundtrack from The Good, The Bad and The Ugly by Ennio Morricone. Yeah. Do I need to say anything about this? I guess I don't. This is a legendary, legendary soundtrack uh, by Ennio Morricone. Freaking awesome. And there we go to the Netherlands for Gnaw Their Tongues with L'Arrivée de la Terne Mort Triomphante. Yeah. He brings out a lot of stuff. So. Yeah, this is actually one of his like bazillion re um, releases. Um, this one was on Burning World Records. Uh, really awesome release. I got this dirt cheap, and I once had the um, privilege of seeing him play live, and it was haunting to say the least. Go and check out Not a Chance. Morning. So um, yeah got a little bit late um, yesterday so um, let's continue with uh, Green Day American Idiot um, to be honest Green Day has been a big part of my life and quite an important part of my life because this was actually uh, how I got introduced to live concerts and um, yeah this was my very first concert ever and uh, yeah needless to say for me this was an eye-opener and pretty fucking awesome music to this day uh, then we got a bootleg from Green Day radio recording uh, 
WFMU, New Jersey, May 28th, 1997, FM broadcast. Um, sound quality isn't great. Um, yeah, for that period of time, it's quite cool as well. Um, double LP, single sleeve, all on black vinyl. And the last one that I have to show you guys is uh, Green Day Tuki. Um, yeah, no need to introduce this. It's not on green vinyl. It's on black and some kind of sheets. They don't get spun too often, to be honest, um, but it's really uh, important for me to have some Green Demo collection. All right, the next few are from a black metal band called the Graveland. This is Sharpening the Thousand Swords. And I believe this is a re-recording of a Thousand Swords, as far as I can remember. Um, if it's on the color or the thing, so. No, it's just some black. So. Thousand Swords. Always have a weak spot for uh, Graveland. Uh, again, not his ideas, but his music. Um, really awesome music. And I really like the matte finish on this um, this LP. Uh, been trying to get pretty much everything of uh, Graveland on vinyl. Um, not everything has been released on vinyl, but still. Um, then we have Ubota Mid Mia. Really love the backside artwork with the uh, Viking ish theme going on. Really awesome release. Um, jacket is in a um, really flimsy, but either way, quite awesome. On a white vinyl appropriate and the next one that I can have to show you guys is I think one of his uh, most known uh, final or album releases called Bathing Wolves uh, I don't really like this cover it's uh, yeah not done quite well it looks pretty shitty to be honest um, but the music still sounds good and um, comes with a lyric sheet which I always find quite weird but yeah and on black vinyl so Carbathium uh, then we have in the glare of burning churches and it's not a good for it's been a while since I ever spun anything from um, Graveland, but yeah, always have to, always great to have in the collection, and it's on black vinyl. So, and then we have uh, Necromansion, all very early releases, and this also came with the Covenant Two. Uh, more in here. There we go. Extra sheet. I do have more of Graveland on um, uh, on tape. I got a big ass collection there, and I only own like one or two uh, CDs. Record is on a white vinyl. Again, I don't know if I um, have a thing for white vinyl going on, but they always look pretty awesome, to be honest. And then we have Drunamedian. Druna, Drunamedian. Drunamedian, I don't know how you say it. Uh, yeah, if you talk about pixelated artwork, then you have the greatest example right there. Backside is a little bit dung up, uh, as you can see right there. Has survived like two or three uh, <laughs> uh, moving places. Came with a poster. Oh, a color picture. 
This looks fucking awesome. And record is on black. And then his first ever record. This one is limited to 444 picture, uh, pictures. 444 editions. This epilogue comes in a beautiful gatefold. As you can see right there, it is number 289 or 98. Yeah. And then it came with too much and all black vinyl. So. Yeah, that was my Graveland collection. I don't have that much to say about it. Um, I really like collecting Graveland. So. Uh, then I showed one in my previous video. This is gold with white and orange. You're laughing. Laughing. Not laughing. And yeah, gold is like a really awesome Dutch um, rock group. Um, where they hint like a bit to metal, not extremely, me, but either way. Again, a white vinyl. This is this part is just about the white vinyl, I guess. So, but there will be change. Then we go to my favorite band, Hylon. Off near. And as you can see, that's the top right there. Yeah, you heard me talk about I look like a, like a bazillion times, so I won't be talking about it right now. Um, this one is on grey swirl ish. And there we go. It's a double LP, so um, I'll show you the insides as well. I always love this picture. Yeah. Um, Kai right there. Um, Maria right there and Christopher right there. Um, there are another three uh, piece band live. They got like a bazillion people on stage performing the ritual. Um, yeah, but if you watch my channel, <laughs> you will probably know Hilo. Um This is Liva. This is the Casfest live concert. I was actually attending this concert and I absolutely didn't know what the hell Heilung was or has become um, yeah they're they really really amazed me and this came on a translucent purple-ish vinyl um, yeah they were they were mind-boggling amazingly awesome I had to leave the concert earlier though um, however uh, the blu-ray is coming to my possession very quickly then I got two um, versions of the new album Futa and it's all written in Futurak it's all right there and they've taken the, um, the step to um, expanding their um, sound a lot more on this and uh, it's I say better than Leva and this is on a clear vinyl and it is it is basically one of the best records I've ever heard in my life and it, it clicked with me in the second I heard it the sun so clear really crystal crystal clear which is weird to see <laughs> and the next version of this record is yeah exactly the same uh, by looking at it but this one is I believe green yeah moss green which is really really good color um, yeah, same for the other vinyl, so I won't be showing you that. So, that one was my Hylum collection as well in here, so yeah. Now we got a, a very pretty box set in a form of Imperialist with a cipher. This is 
there it is. Amazing black and thrash metal or thrash black and stuff like that. I don't know. Really, really good stuff. Uh, comes on a great color as well. Uh, the box is kind of flimsy in my opinion. Um, I wasn't really happy how it turned out to be honest. Um, came with a opener of the band patch, uh, signed card and something else and a artwork poster which was out like that. So yeah, uh, probably my only big metal box set that I own um, and it's kind of yeah. Then we go to Russia, Evil and Rebrov. Um, I just got this for the song Kalinka, so yeah. Uh, then we go to a band of my um, uncle, Judy Midden, some, um, I believe, some drum and bass, but literally drum and bass, so that's quite awesome. Really, really noisy. From Noisy, we go to John Mayer, Room Squares, amazing guitarist, and his songs are very catchy. Then we go from Noise to um, John Mayer, back to Noise again with KFR, uh, Gatefold, absolutely horrifying, nightmarish type of music. We got some stuff from uh, Maxime Ticardi lying around somewhere. Um, I had one of those phases where I was really into his music um, and from the time to time I still um, play it but um, not as often anymore as back in the days when he was all in the music scene and comes with oops, a lyric sheet or something in that way looks absolutely horrifying uh, I got some other CD copies and some cassette copies of um, this project of him as well. So uh, then we got some Kawan records. Uh, Mio Masa, Musti Mia or something. I can't speak Finnish. So um, amazing doom metal uh, with a hint on the, of ambient and. Daddy of Black Metal, uh, as you can see, it is signed by them. Pretty awesome. And it is on Black Vinyl. Then we go to their latest le record, and this is all ambient. Kayo, or Kao, Kayo, I don't know. Uh, amazingly beautiful done artwork, and as you can see, if you slide the inner sheet out, there you go. Yeah. Really awesome good quality of ambient music. There we go, the Pirut, and yeah, I got a sim split right there. I knew that when I bought it, but hey. Uh, also signed uh, Blood Music on the bottom. Um, they announced something um, on Instagram, what they're gonna do. So I'm really, really um, anxious to see what they're gonna do. And then we have my favorite album of Kawan Sorni Nai. And this is actually going to be my next tattoo. Um, should have been done in four days, but because of the virus, it isn't able to be done. And in the inside, it's a beautiful gate, full with, um, with the signatures um, from Anton. And this is on, I believe, white vinyl. First press as well, really awesome artwork as well. And it's again on a white vinyl. I do have a lot of white vinyl, I don't know why. Uh, then we go back to some uh, local heroes, uh, the legs, some um, stoner rock kind of thingy going on. Uh, quite awesome stuff, nothing really special. Uh, otherwise, that it came from my uh, hometown, my old hometown. Um, and they, uh, they're good friends of mine, so yeah. And then we have, <laughs> yeah, uh, 
the soundtrack of Life of Brian from Monty Python. Um, it's actually one of the few picture discs that I actually own. And yeah, I have spun it once or twice. The uh, sound is actually quite good for its uh, for being a picture disc. And it comes with a download code as well. And uh, I will keep for myself. There we go. Me and that man. I showed you this like a long time ago. Gatefold cover. Um, side project from um, Nergal from Behemoth. And weirdly enough, I found it right here. A uh, little bit of black swirl going on. Uh, some, some decent dark country, I would say. Something like that. And then Metallica uh, bootleg. Uh, Woodstock 1994 bro uh, radio broadcast. Um, yeah, it's Metallica. So, so let's continue. There we go with Nerf Conquer. Uh, I didn't charge release. Um, this is some Dutch black metal. Um, some not so run of the mill black metal, but pretty awesome stuff. Their sheet. And a lady right there. Um, yeah, some some good black metal, not like a standout or something, but really really good black metal. And we go to the U.S. for some old school death metal in the form of Nucleus. Uh, I believe this is their very first LP version of um, of Sentience. This is some um, like sci-fi inspired death metal that, um, that I was uh, lucky enough um, to see these guys not play live but to see these guys and hang out with these guys when I was in America uh, it comes on a beautiful green vinyl it's uh, beyond my uh, knowledge that, uh, that these guys haven't blown up yet these guys are making like amazing techy uh, old school death metal on the vein of um, Nocturnus or something or something in that brain, but with a little bit more of a doomy sound to it. Now we got some instrumental hardcore um, NY sixty four. Uh, got this from um, Lonnie over at Lonnie uh, Classy Lonnie Metal. Um, it's an instrumental record, uh, I really had to get used to that, but either way, it's good stuff. Then we got Nocturnity with, um, let's see, uh, a Hearts of the Ancient Temples. I always had a weak spot for the front cover of this one. Um, really like the album cover. The music is very good as well. And over here some lyrics. And it's just on black, so I want to show you that. And the other one as well. Some really cool um, graphics in there. And to top things off, there's a poster on the front cover right there. Which, uh, if I get my own place, I will. Um, eventually frame because I adore this album. Then we go to a um, soundtrack of a series called Outlander. I believe this is from series 2 as of our, I can't recall. Uh, this completely sold out anywhere so um, tried to find this for cheap price. Uh, very good series. Has a lot of good historical value. It comes in a beautiful green the vinyl also comes with some booklet of some artwork here and there. It might be in one of the best series uh, currently around. Uh, if you like some old folklore, go check this out. Um, then we got a Dutch punk band, Orgaan Club Panic at the Fable. 
some really, really weird, weird, weird as fuck music and even weirder live show. So if you like that weirdy type of punk and BDSM, go check that out. Then we got some um, post rock of Hiroshima with In Silence We Yearn. Um, people are flipping this on Discogs for some reason. I don't know why, because you still can get this, I believe, at Nuclear Blast for some reason. Napalm Record, sorry. And there you go, just on Black Friday. So, uh, some amazing post rock. Go check this out if you don't know it. Another soundtrack. I do like my soundtracks. The Peaky Blinders soundtrack. Um, yeah. Triple Gatefold. Uh, oh no, sorry. <laughs> Not Triple Gatefold. Triple LP. Sorry for that. Really awesome release. Um, when I bought this a few days later, this was on sale, which kind of bummed me out. Just on a black vinyl. Um, but I'll show you the inserts as well. Because they're quite awesome. And this has gotten a lot of praise in the media as well. And to say the least, they freaking deserve it. Because the, um, uh, the actors are doing their acting like amazingly well. And then we go to a classic. Pearl Jam 10. Uh, yeah, what to say about this? Uh, that hasn't been said. One of the best grunge albums ever released. Comes on a blue vinyl. Uh, yeah, really awesome release. If you don't know it, please unsubscribe. There we go. Quickly through uh, some Queen records. This one absolutely destroyed. If you look like that, you know you had it. Great uh, lifespan, that's sheer heart attack. Then we have Jazz A Day at the Races, A Night at the Opera, A Hot Space, and as last, the shiniest fuck cover of the game. Then we got a split between Rot in Hell and Psy Warfare. Some grind right there in your face. Really great stuff. And I believe I also got this from uh, Lonnie as well. So thank you again, Lonnie, for that whole huge as hell um, uh, load of metal I got from you. Then we have um, Raunacht with, with Unturn Gipfelthorn with some uh, atmospheric black metal. Uh, nothing really special to be honest, but it's, it's quite awesome to say the least. It comes on black, but the labels are quite awesome. Let's see who picks it up. Yeah. So, looks very awesome, sounds very awesome as well. Nothing amazingly special, so don't expect the next summoning. But yeah. And there we go, another soundtrack. But then from a video game called RuneScape. Um, yeah, to be honest, everybody of my age, uh, which is this year going to be 27, will probably know um, is very much uh, has spent most of their lifetime <laughs> uh, doing some weird quest or done some PKing in RuneScape. Uh, so yeah, RuneScape. Um, everybody knows this soundtrack, to be honest, and um, yeah. Um, I guess everybody knows the Shanti song and, and the soundtrack of the beginning of uh, RuneScape will always be uh, remembered for me. Right, next one, Rata with Silulina. 
some um, highly underrated black metal in my opinion. Um, yeah, not much to say about this. I believe they're from Finland as well. Uh, it is just on black vinyl. Um, yeah, not really much to say about the uh, this you know, Lina. Uh, then we got Swolder uh, with uh, Desecration of Five Holy Pillars. Uh, Anti-Muslim anti Land, I think. Um, to be honest, I don't give a flying damn about the um, message that this band has in their music. I just like the music. Also comes with, I don't know how this goes, I believe it, like this, which I think is the uh, band logo. Um, yeah, furthermore, some booklet information. Sorry, there was a motorcycle that was racing by. But. All right, then we go to punk. This is Slaves with Are You Satisfied? Typical Brit punk type music. Um, yeah, highly entertaining. Uh, so if you like like an old school British punk music, you will probably like this as well. Uh, this is Take Control by Slaves. Um, yeah, I. I think I like this more than the other one, um, just on black vinyl, but a lot of fun pictures and they have a thing going on, um, what do you say, it? on YouTube where they have Slaves TV and it's always really freaking funny when they upload something. Uh, the Wall by Pink Floyd, uh, not much to say about this, um, yeah, otherwise that is one of the best albums ever made. Uh, then we stick with Pink Floyd, Relics, always like this album cover uh, when I saw it in my father's collection, I believe it was in my father's collection. Then we got a soundtrack from Platoon. Um, one of the best war movies ever made. Sticking with soundtracks, uh, this, uh, yeah, I believe a bootleg version of the Star Wars soundtrack, and uh, I it doesn't even have an inner sleeve, and um, yeah, it's probably spun to shit. Uh, one of the best. Um, rock bands that has came out of Denmark I believe uh, this is Sabia with uh, the second you sleep uh, I brought I have been brought up with this uh, record by my parents and um, yeah, it's it's in my opinion one of the better pop rock albums and highly underrated there are other versions their other album these are the days um, has probably my favorite song then Brilliant Sky on it. So go and check that out. Then we got Service Blood Snowdonia. Um, I was walking in a store, in a music store, record store, and they were playing this and I didn't know that band. And um, I thought like, yeah, this is some awesome, yeah, 80s 70s inspired rock uh what is this and he said like yeah that's this one and uh yeah i bought it uh, just because of one here and i loved it then we go to the scariest music i own even scarier than kfr stalag with project terror um limited editions of 500 account number nine uh, this is music um, recorded in a mental hospital where people just scream and he put a little synthesizer here and there and I don't advise to listen to this um, it's 
beyond scary, uh, however, is very interesting to listen to. And it doesn't get that many spins because you really have to be in the mood for such a thing as a Stalag Project Terror. And he also has some other records, Project Nihil as well. Uh, but this one is fucking scary. Then we got Sorg uh, with Infidel Internal. Um, run of the mill black metal, but still has a, a few surprises here and there. But comes on a beautiful bowling ball grey ish final. Uh, released on Magic Bullets Records also from uh, from, from Classy Kalani uh, here on YouTube. And this I believe also came with a bonus 7 inch. Which I need to dig into. Yep. Yeah, just fell out. Uh, it comes on this gold puke-ish type of color. Um, I haven't listened to the 7 inch, but um, if it's anything like this, um, it's it's okay. Then we go to one of the most um, refreshing atmosphere black metal albums ever. Sojourner with Empires of Ash. If you don't know this, click this video away and go and listen to this. This is just mind-boggling good. Um, this has been brought out in 2015 or something? 16. All right, and it's still, in my opinion, in my top three of best albums to come out in a genre called black metal. Um, it's just, bizarrely how good it is and I absolutely adore it to this single day uh, still get some spins um, here and there when I feel like uh, listening to black metal this will always be um, on top um, of the playlist some advertisements and uh, the other one is also on the beautiful color then we go to raw black metal in the form Tardi Krada with Emotionele Udnis. Um, I believe Brain Smasher showed this like years and years ago. And I fell in love with the artwork, and that's the only thing I fell in love with at that time. And I ordered it straight off the back, and I fell in love with the music as well. And still one of my most cherished records in my collection. Tardi Grada with Emotionele Udnis. Then we got Terzai de Horde with Self and some weird ass black metal, really um, post black metal ish. And it's still a fun record to listen to from time to time. Uh, even though I got it this short, um, just got it like two videos ago. And it's still pretty awesome. Then we got a Tenebrae in Perpetuum with Anorexia Obscura. Pretty decent uh, black metal. It has a hint of uh, death metal here and there, as I can recall. And this comes on a black vinyl from one of those anti static sleeves that I absolutely fucking hate. Then we got my most random record that I own. Tracks from Tanks. I don't know what this is. I believe it's Mars music or something. Uh, haven't spun this. Uh, I don't know if it's even playable. Uh, it's, it's military music. My mom got it for me by all of means. Uh, she said like yeah this is from a flea market you like this uh, so yeah thanks mom uh, then we got one of the most eye-opener albums uh, I've ever came across 
tool with 10,000 days. This is a bootleg deluxe, however, uh, it's still in pretty condition, doesn't skip at all, and also on the blue vinyl, doesn't come with any inserts at all, um, it's just a flimsy cover as well, but it does a job, right? Uh, I didn't pay that much for it, I only paid like 15 euros or something for it, so. Uh, the music does the talk, so yeah. Then we got Opiate by Tool. I got this in a sale. Uh, this is a uh, legit copy uh, and it comes on a black vinyl. Always thought this cover was quite scary. As a kid growing up, I saw this here and there in stores and I was like, Ugh, that dude in front of, on the cover, that looks fucking scary. Then we go to my own band, uh, U2, How to Dismantle an Atomic Bomb. Uh, this is for me a really, really good album and I still love this album to death. Uh, came with a lot of goodies. Um, this is the record sleeve, an extra record sleeve, I believe, because here we have the original one. I don't know why, it's still in there, and uh, one of my favorite songs of YouTube is on here, and that's City for Blinding Lights. Get back in here. And it comes with a massive booklet, uh, which I didn't expect with all photos and different kinds of stuff are in here which is pretty cute so off to the next one well we're nearing the end uh this is a volan with something i don't know how to freaking pronounce this but it's something else it's not your typical black metal stuff uh, to say the least uh, I have been lucky to see these guys play live uh, a few years ago comes in a beautiful you, know, you won't see it because of the lighting right now um, it's amazingly lo-fi but still high produced black metal it's really 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 good uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, just like that. Poster right there. I believe they're from Mexico, I want to say. Or somewhere near that region. Comes with a beautiful booklet as well. Uh, at least it's Mexican themed, so. Really, really good stuff. Uh, this one, this band was a hype like years ago. And I believe it was because of the black twilight circle, I think. And yeah, I need to say I also bit that. So. Then we got Vond with AIDS to the People, one of the best ambient projects ever made, in my opinion. Comes with a signature of the man himself. And it's, I believe, just a oh no. It's on a blue vinyl. There you go. Another blue vinyl. So the next one up is, in my opinion, the best of Vons. And that is Cell Smart. And this is an OG press um, I found here in the Netherlands. It does have its fair share of use though. Um, again, in the stupid anti-static uh, packaging. Uh, let's see. And over here we have the poster. There we go. Uh, very, very depressing music. Um, but it gives me. Um, how do you say it? it gives me solitude, it gives me rest, it keeps me calm, 
and I do listen from it time to time even on such a bright and beautiful day this won't get this fix then we got font with the dark river and I only need the green eyed demon I don't know if they have it on vinyl just on black but um, if it isn't on vinyl I got the complete uh, discography of Vaunt. Then we have, I don't know how it came in here, it's not on <laughs> alphabetical order, uh, Balboa and Plague Sermon. I don't know any of these bands. Also got this from Lonnie, haven't spun this yet, so thanks Lonnie anyway. Void Meditation Cult with Sulfur Sprayers of Blight and Darkness. One of the best uh, black metal bands I know. There's actually a split, I want to say, with uh, Spur of the Antichrist, but it's basically the same band. Um, I haven't heard anything from these guys, and it comes on a clear, crystal clear vinyl. Um, yeah. Everyone says it's like Beherit copying. Uh, you could think of that, but. Uh, the last thing we heard from this band was Out of the Tongue of the Dead. Uh, my opinion, not as good as Silver Sprays of Light and Darkness. But this is, I believe, their very first full length, and it still stands up to the day as one of the better um, black metal releases uh, to this day, in my opinion. But the Silver Sprays. The sulfurous praise of light and darkness does have a place in my heart. Then we go back to the Netherlands with Witte Wieve. Um, silhouettes of an imprisoned mind. Uh, look at that artwork. God damn, it's beautiful. And on the back it goes like that. And this is uh, about an old saga here in the Netherlands about uh, the white witches or the white ghosts I don't know how you want to say it but it's hauntingly scary and I even got a book uh, of that Witte Wieve um, saga which is fucking scary then we got the soundtrack of the musical version of the War of the Worlds uh, just bought this because of the artwork something like that which in my opinion is pretty awesome then we go back to the Netherlands again. Wedeganger werd half vergaan ontwaakt. One of the maybe the best black metal band ever to come out of the Netherlands, in my opinion. Um, just oh my god, this is some good, good black metal. Go and check this out if you haven't. Smack yourself in the head for not knowing this band. Um, it's just top tier black metal from the Netherlands and it comes on a great bowling ball vinyl such good project sadly they quit but they um, recently brought out an album under the name Beswering something like that so um, then we got wax face graves of God from Belgium uh, some speed metal uh, really really good stuff actually uh, I blind bought it because I thought it was like black and thrash metal or something but sadly it wasn't and happily it wasn't because this is some really really cool stuff and the last one for the 12 inches uh, this is XX the XX I would say uh, it out like that. But I have sleep, same thing. Um, I saw this guy play on Seaget like in 2014, I want to say, something like that. Poster of the artwork <laughs> and lyrics. And it was really, really good live. Um, I looked it up and I found some info, uh, and I found some information about these people 
and I bought the vinyl of it. Simple as that. So that is my 12 inch collection done. Let's move on to the 7 inches and 10 inches, right? And then we go to the uh, 10 inches. I only got three of them, but uh, yeah, the first one is uh, Operation Gun Destroyer the Slam Before Time. I won't show the cover because that will get me into trouble, but I will show you the backside. And yep, yeah. and this one is on the clearest piece of vinyl that I've ever seen. This is like a flexi disc or something, and it's in my opinion the worst experience of um, hoarding vinyl I've ever had in my whole career as a vinyl collector. And over here you got the picture disc, I won't show you that because that will get me uh, removed from YouTube very quickly. And the last 10 inch I can't get out because it's really tight. Uh, Vintory gets um, at lunch shafts and ABK salmon and some kite some ambient stuff and then we got the seven inches uh, bring me the horizon with two row friends then we got some winter ticket uh, garen with uh, I don't know uh, Herbschnebel I think yeah uh, then we got fatted zombie with uh, First altar or something. Uh, the two eco side seven inch um, releases when the stars align. And the other one is, I believe, just on black vinyl. Yep. The only weird thing I got to say about this is that this one has clearer artwork than that one for some reason. Uh, then we got a Colosseum and Doomsday Not of This World Split EP. Uh, to be honest, I haven't spun this. Um, but it also came from Lonnie, so it should be good stuff. And then by, I believe this is some Doom Metal, as far as I can recall. Then we go to a Dutch rock band, uh, old buddy gave mine, Black Volvo, uh, with, yeah, I believe just Black Volvo, and comes on a gold 7 inch. Then a band my uncle is in right now, uh, Sugar Coated Mind Bombs, um, just some noise punk rock, uh, just like the Julie Middens one he is in. Uh, this is just on a noise stuff so. uh, then we got ET explore me and the st stack stackers stackers something like that uh, some local uh, bands here in Harlem and it comes on a red final then we got Edis of Gemini and another Edis of Gemini and this one is on a beautiful purple vinyl. And this one is on a silver vinyl. Or see through. Then we got a, a busted up copy of the Ghostbusters soundtrack, an instrumental version. I don't know if this still is playable. It looks like it has been run over by many, many trucks. Then we got some uh, NS uh, Capricornus with Style Gewitter, uh, released by IG Farben, so you know what time it is. Uh, just on black vinyl. And yeah. If you think this stuff's too primitive and extreme for normal men, you're absolutely right. <laughs> so, yeah, I got that uh, in, uh, at a black metal show. Uh, like two years ago or something. They've got some um, grindcore with Geno Yukari unit one 
took me a while to get this um, really happy that I got it and then we go back to the Netherlands a Graviamer with Smirenberg one of my favorite seven inches black and roll music from the Netherlands awesome stuff then we got Asgrau and a Meslam tea Meslam tea split I think yeah and this one has been released on one of my favorite Dutch labels, uh, Zwartgevecht, which I did an order on like a few um, a few days ago. Um, so expect a new video from that. This is Bestial Summoning with a, a 7 inch alive from Venrai. And the last two, Beketh Nexumu with something I don't know the the Arida Graferna something like that and blood um, black salise not blood black salise with uh, nocturnal mysticism I bought this at their gig in Utrecht which was for some reason their first gig ever and um, they're a Portuguese band and they're playing in that they play in the Netherlands for the first record but for the first performance so um yeah that one was my whole collection um if there are going to be comments like do your CD collection do your tape collection I will do that um if not I won't so thank you guys for watching this way too long video um and have a nice day and stay safe